Hello, Platt family. We are here in the greenhouse, and one of our biggest questions that we have is, I have this beautiful pot, can I plant directly into it? Now look at this, it does not have any drainage into it, and I have a few ways that we can do this so that you are successful. First off, what you can do is you can find a nice six inch pot, goes into this nice seven inch pot nicely, and just sort of set it in. Now when you water, make sure there's gonna be excess water here, so after you water, just make sure you dump the water out, and then put the plant back in, and then that will make sure that this plant isn't sitting in water. Another way you can do it is adding a little bit of drainage in the bottom. Now I do this fairly simply by adding some rock or gravel. So I just need to put about one or two inches of gravel in the bottom of my container. So this is just gonna go right in the bottom of my container like so. I brought these pebbles, so I mix some sharp sand and also some gravel in there. It's about two inches. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is add some charcoal. And what the charcoal is gonna do is it's gonna eliminate any bacterial growth and it's also gonna absorb some extra moisture. So that really definitely helps with our plants. Then we wanna use a nice soilless mix. It's important that we use a soilless mix that we don't just grab garden soil out of our garden. This has a nice wetting agent, so it's gonna dry evenly from top to bottom. So I'm gonna add that in here. Just like so. This is a pro mix that I'm using here. It's got lots of perlite in it and it's a great light fluffy mix. And I've put, added some soil in there and then I'm going to make my beautiful arrangement. So I've got a beautiful areca palm. I'm going to stick that one in the back here. And I got my Diefenbachia. Let's turn this guy. Diefenbachia, just like so. We're going to stick him in the front. And when you plant, make sure you plant so you have about a half an inch of soil at the top of the, um, just down a half an inch of soil, just so that you can put some water in there and it allows for the water to sit and it's not spilling over the side. And then we're gonna use this lovely club moss to sort of spill over the edge. So there we go. We have made a beautiful arrangement that's gonna be successful now in that pot. Now it's really important after you finish water, um, plant in your container to add some water to this pot but don't just dump it like you normally would where you wait for it to flow at the bottom of your pot you want to just do some water sparing so little bits of water more frequently is best for that container that does not have holes in it so hope you learned something here at dutch growers come visit us under the windmill or online dutchgrowers.com